Hey guys, this is Abby Sport, Technical Decay and Roll Swing. We're gonna focus on the feet today, and the principle is very simple. On the kettlebell swing, we want to have the feet flat on the ground, and we want to have throughout the whole lift equal, evenly distributed force. Uh, that means, in, in terms of how it feels to you, it means that the feet are flat and they're not, you're not rocking like this, right? Uh, and so, uh, why do we want that? Because when your foot is flat on the ground and the force is evenly distributed, your base of support is bigger, right? Like the base of support is the area in contact with the ground. It's bigger. That means that there's gonna be more transfer of force from the ground up, from your legs up, from your hips up, and so that's better. The moment that you start rocking uh, like this is the moment that your center of mass is moving, uh, and that is less force, more inefficient movement. Uh, so that's the basic principle. Easy a uh, fix first of many, but easy fix. People that start with the kettlebell here, if you start like that, if this is your first swing, you'll see that your your feet are starting already rocking. Um, that is the most inefficient way of starting a kettlebell swing. Just think it for a second. You're having to do like five medium kettlebell swings before you actually go up, right? And your movement is all out of wax and uh, all out of whack. Also works, but a lot of work, right? And so, um, first easy fix, start with what I call a kettlebell swing single or dead stop kettlebell swing. So the bell starts there, feet are flat on the ground, up, aggressive, aggressive, that's it, right? So if you start like that, your feet are in a good position, everything works well. Good, that's the first easy fix. The second is just pay attention to your feet. And what you'll find out is that when you relax a little bit eh, eh, too much the movement and when you go down with the bell, um, you, have to, you have to go into this kind of momentum generating thing, so you're like more bubbly. And the moment you start doing that, the feet start moving. And it works both ways. As soon as you start feeling your feet going rock chair, you're like, oh, tighten that movement. How do you tighten the movement? How do you how do you lose that that uh, eh, 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 bowly uh, sensation? Very simple. You have probably seen my video on the way down on the kettlebell swing. That applies mostly to American kettlebell swings, to overhead kettlebell swings, but even in Russian. And what you need to do is, as the bell comes down. Uh, your feet, like even though you're relaxing the arms and, 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 and the core is kind of relaxed, not fully but kind of, your feet should be still very solid planted on the ground. Don't let them be loose. And what that will feel like is if I come here, right, I'm here, I let that bell fall, and if the feet are, are uh, flat on the ground and creating tension, when I let the, fell down, the, the bell fall down, let it fall down, when it pulls me, I can just react to it, it's very elastic, right? So it's the difference of having, let me bring a band, uh, uh, if, the feet, uh, if the feet are flat on the ground and you're creating tension, when the bell comes here, it's gonna go up, right? If the feet are a little bit loose, you're gonna have to kind of be bowly and like take that take that bell down by lifting your weight and then you have to throw it back up right so it starts on the way down at the last minute hold the feet tight that will create a lot of tension in your foot and you can just respond to that bell right so that is the that is actually the main fix so first one good start with a kettlebell swing uh, single or a dead stop kettlebell swing. But on your reps, on your cycling, whether you're doing Russian, uh, sorry, Russian or American, uh, 
Let that bell fall, let that bell fall, let that bell fall. Don't go, don't go down with it. Keep your feet flat on the ground and tense them so that like, you're grinding the, the ground and when the bell uh, brings you down with it, you're gonna feel a little of tension to respond to that. And that's what we're looking for. That's the feedback uh, that we're doing shit right. Sorry, that we're doing things right. Um, that is it. Those are the two main fixes. Uh, you could have drills with the band and so on, but I don't think they're necessary. I think if you're just focusing on this last moment, just that thing, uh, just focus on your feet and keep them flat and create tension then on the ground, connection with the ground, you're, you're golden, you're gonna feel great. Good, one thing to consider though, if you're doing American swings or head swings, sometimes if the belly is heavy enough when you extend your hips aggressively, uh, especially if you're not going into a, a, a long arm swing, but like you're bending your arms and kind of pressing at the top, which is valid depends, depending on, on what you're trying to do, what you'll feel is that there's a little bit more of vertical hip extension and what that will translate is in going on the ball of your feet, on the up, uh, on the way up. Is that rocking feet? No, that is not rocking feet, that is just uh, momentum being generated. You already transferred the force and that's momentum bringing you up instead of this, right? Um, and so the moment that the force that you were pressing is the, the ground, you were connected and you went up. Uh, is something that we want to keep paying attention? Yes, if that is happening to you, uh, what you have to remember is hold for a sec on the bell at the top because this applies only to overhead or American kettlebell swings. And still when the bell is coming down, focus on that feet create tension so that you know that you're not creating that rocking chair uh, kind of bowling momentum in which the hips are a little bit forward and like n nothing operates very well, right? Like my anatomy is not optimized. Um, that is it, those are the three points. So, uh, this is Kerebo uh, technique. Uh, that is it. Give it a try. Let me know how it goes.